All right. So this is the last fully worked example for chapter eight. It is the second of our two-dimensional collisions, and it's the one where we have objects that are both moving and they stick together at the end of the collision. So let's draw a picture of what's going on. So first of all, we have the five kilogram block or puck, and it is moving five meters per second to the side. And just so it's clear here, we're looking top down at a table. These are basically hockey pucks that hit each other or billiard balls that hit each other. So um, they're not falling. We're looking top down at this situation. We also have the four kilogram block here uh, or puck, and it is moving at eight meters per second. And they're on a collision course. They will hit each other. And the key thing is that we are given this 60 degree angle, which is down here in the bottom corner. So this block is moving to the left instead of the right, and it is moving down and not up. So we can make a list of the given information here the same way that we did before. We have the two masses, so M1 is five kilograms, M2 is four kilograms. The initial velocity in the x direction for mass one is positive five, so positive five meters per second. The initial final or the initial x velocity for the four kilogram block is right here. It is the adjacent side to the 60 degrees. And so it is the cosine. It is 8 times the cosine of 60 degrees. All right. We have the initial velocity in the y direction for the 5 kilogram block. There's no up and down part of that sideways arrow, and so that's 0. And the initial velocity for the um, 4 kilogram puck is this up and down piece. It's opposite of the angle, and so it is 8 sine 60 degrees. Now the key thing here is that unlike the previous example, these stick together. Which means that V1 final in the x direction is equal to V2 final in the x direction. And so V final in the x direction is one of our unknowns, and so we'll use the x equation for momentum conservation for that. And v1 final in the y direction is going to be the same as v2 final in the y direction. And so we only have one v final in the y direction. That's an unknown, but we'll be able to use our y momentum conservation equation. Okay, so this is our setup so far. We have one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of given information and an understanding that rather than four separate unknowns, we only have two separate unknowns and we have two different equations and so this is a completely solvable problem. Okay, so we'll start with the x direction. So m1 v1 initial x plus m2 v2 initial x equals m1 v final x plus m2 v final x. So we have 5 times 5 plus, oh, I didn't put it here yet. That's a big uh, issue. I'd have, I might have lost points if I weren't careful here. The x direction here to the left means this negative sign is super important. Maybe you're yelling at your screen, Dr. Wilsey, don't forget those minus signs. If you were, good job. The down arrow here also needs that minus sign. Down and up, um, we got to have opposite signs there. All right, so 4 times negative 8 cosine 60 degrees. I think my family's laughing at me upstairs for my antics. That's okay. We have five v final x plus four v final x is nine 
v final x. Okay, this entire left side we can do. So it's going to be 25 and it's going to be minus, um, looks like 16 here, but we'll double check. So 5 times 5 plus negative 4 times 8 times cosine of 60 degrees. It's about midnight right now when I'm recording this, so I don't trust my mental math. Yep, 25 minus 16 is 9 on the left side, positive 9 is equal to 9v final x. So we divide both sides by 9. 9 divided by 9 is not 0. I see that sometimes as um, algebra mistakes. It's 1. And so we have 1.0 meters per second is our v final x. So we'll make a note of that, but we will have to use that in a final triangle. Now we can turn to the y equation. So we've got m1 v1 initial y plus m2 v2 initial y equals m1 v final y, just an overall v final, plus m2 v final y. Okay, so we've got 5 times 0 plus 4 times negative 8 cosine, oops, sine, Good thing I've color coded, I can easily see it. Sine 60 degrees. That's on the left. Make sure we can see it. Okay, so 5 times 0, 4 times negative 8 sine 60 degrees. And then on the right side, we have 5v final y plus 4v final y. V final y. So on the right side, we're going to have 9v final y. On the left side, we're going to have 4 times negative 8 times the sine of 60. Which is negative 27.7. We can divide both sides by 9. To get that v final y, and I know it's way down here in the corner, I'm sorry about that is negative 3.1, negative 3.1 meters per second. And so just like the previous problem, we have the um, horizontal piece, and in this case it's pointing to the right. It could have gone to the right or the left. We had a little bit of momentum in both directions, but it ends up that the um, rightward momentum was bigger. And then this final velocity is going down, which makes sense to us because we only had downward motion to begin with, so we should have da downward motion at the end of this too. So with these two pieces, we have to make a final triangle. So I'm going to erase the um, setup steps. You can always rewind the video to go back to them if you need them. But just so that we know exactly what this looks like, we have 1.0 meters per second sideways. We have 3.1 meters per second down. And we have the final, V final for the whole thing, not just mass one, not just mass two, not X, not Y, but the whole V final and the angle. We need to find those two numbers. So for this one, we're taking the Pythagorean theorem again. We're going to take the square root of 1 squared plus 3.1 squared. And so the square root of 1 squared plus 3.1 squared is 3.3 meters per second. So that is the overall speed that these things are, mo are, are moving, the value, the size of the velocity. And then for the angle, the tangent of this angle is the opposite, 3.1, over the adjacent. And so the arctangent is going to be, um, the angle is the arctangent of 3.1 over 1. And so that angle, the arctangent of 3.1, is 72 degrees. And so with the picture, 
we don't need to do any more, but we need to indicate that that 72 degrees is south of east if we don't have that picture. And so the overall blocks, these two um, masses, when they hit each other and stick together, they end up moving down at that angle of 3.3 meters per second at 72 degrees. So that's the last example from chapter 8. Uh, you should definitely compare this example with the previous one so that we can see the commonalities between the two two-dimensional collision problems. And then um, if you have questions, you can always rewatch the video and ask in emails, office hours, or discussion boards. So I will see you in the next chapter. Bye for now.